Hey guys, I was just editing the video and I realized I didn't say this in the actual thing, so I just want to warn you now. Spoilers for the entire series. Um, yeah, so if you watch this and you haven't played it, it's all on you. Just kidding. I love y'all. Uh, see y'all in the video. Hey guys, it's Moose here and welcome back to another video. Um, I haven't recorded in a while. Um, I know I haven't, but... I just wanted to come back to this game, Firewatch. I played it about six months ago, something like that. Um, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I am very grateful that one of my teachers actually wanted me to write an essay on a review of my favorite video game. So I'm going to be playing this in like one take and then chopping it up into blocks and putting it on my channel. Um, so I'm going to be starting the game fresh, starting the game new, and just seeing where it takes me. I played it once over, and then my friend Kayla played it, and she loved it, I loved it, I loved it more than anything. Um, so I'm gonna get started for the first little beginning bit where there's not a lot of talk, well, where there's just voice, like, text on the chat, or on the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm excited. Um, I'm just going to be saying, you know, the words on the screen, and you get what I mean. Um, so let's go to New Game, Firewatch. Oh, oh. Which one's mine? This one's mine. This one I finished. Um, oh, four hours. Um, this one's two hours. Uh, empty game. Here it is. Okay. Whew. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Camp Sento presents. Campo Sento presents. Um, in cooperation with Panic Inc. Um, again, I'm. I think I'm going to be chopping this up into f eight parts because it's about a four-hour long thing. But yeah, uh, part one. <laughs> Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Um, you see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Hmm. You, you're pretty. I don't know why I did that voice. <laughs> You're pretty, she says coolly. You're not. You're a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. I had a camp counselor friend named Julia. She was super nice. Yeah. Oh, we're in game. I love the art style of this game. It's really simplistic, yet super fun to just look at. It's so beautiful. Back, back. Open. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. I never really looked around here. What's here? What's up here? Is there anything up here? Oh! <gasps> It's the sun, and nothing more. <laughs> I've never looked up there before. Um, the first time I played it, I just went straight for the truck. Oh. Glitch. Glitch. I'm calling a glitch. I, I don't know if anyone's ever noticed that before. That's the only mistake I've found in this game so far. I don't mean, it's a simple one, but oh well. Let's throw that in my back, back of my truck. And close it. I love that truck. I would love to have that. Like, just as my truck. You date her for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. 
There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it home or bring it with her to class. Not bring it home. I mean, I guess bring it home, but you know. Um, there's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. <laughs> uh, you pick the beagle and she names it Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name it Mayhem. I did this one the first time around. Should I go with the opposite? I think I should go with the opposite. I'm going to do Beagle. I'm going to turn this down. Because for me, it is super loud. Um, Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have a couple idiots. Or have some, a couple idiots. That would be great. One day why wash, rush? That'd be pretty good. I want kids. I love kids. Yeah. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best they have their parent. Their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Thoroughfare Trailhead... Ooh, I love I love this feeling. There's this weird feeling of nostalgia that comes with this game, and I can't understand it. You know, I only played it, you know, six months or so ago, and I I'm getting that feeling that I get when I play something that I haven't played in forever. Oh, it's Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, you ignore her. Ignore her. I would mm, would I? I don't know. I don't know if I would get mad. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Hmm. I love these two together. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. See, I've never hit this one. I've always hit this one. That one. You look awesome. <laughs> uh, cheer up! I also love the color schemes of this game. It's very, very vibrant and beautiful. Um, you know, is there graphic settings? Let me check. Subtitles, I always put in subtitles, invert, hide interface never done that before. Or mute. Why would I want to mute it? Who would want to mute this game? Shut up. Um, settings. What kind of settings are there? I forgot what kind of... Oh. Master volume. Mute. Display subtitles. Yeah. Language English. Brightness. Let's turn that up a little bit. No. Let's leave it at 50. Yeah. Look. There's no apps. Oh. Graphics. Um, quality high ultra, ultra 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 I don't have that powerful of a PC, so that's crazy that it can play a game like you know on ultra. But that's just how well optimized and just low everything this game is. Two forks, eight more miles. Spacebar. Oh. 1982. 
During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking Bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. <laughs> bip, bip, bip. Fuck. Dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in. <laughs> Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. When I originally read this, I originally read this like Julia and you asked to take a different path. Like I thought that they were splitting, you know, splitting ways and just separating. And I was just like, no! Why? Why would you do that? And with then I read the next line. I was like, okay. Huh, I feel like an idiot. Um, <laughs> from then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. This one's always tough, even if I've played it before. I would agree if she commutes back and forth. You'll ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing her books that were important to her research. She didn't remember that she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. I love this, but I'd talk to someone. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41, so I'd keep it a secret for now. Kept the journal. <laughs> I'm gonna have to block that out. I love that photo though. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments, "It's." kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope, and your unborn children little idiots. The other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You, you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that you, Julie could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. See, this is why I both love and not hate this game, but I... 
I hate making decisions like this. It's nothing like um, the games like Tales from the Borderlands or um, that one about the werewolf, Big B, the one about Big B Wolf, A Wolf Among Us. It's nothing like A Wolf Among Us or Tales from the Borderlands or the Walking Dead video game series. It, because those you can differentiate from real life. This, this is, this is real. Like it, it's. It's weird. It, it doesn't... I mean, it. it's the good kind of weird. It's... You're living... But you start to live vicariously through these people. And it rips you apart when you play games like this. Like, I've already played it once before and then once with a friend. And it hurts. Um, ugh. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. Or you're determined to take care of her by yourself. I'm sorry, Julia. <laughs> See, look, now it's not orange anymore. It's green. You know, it, it it's just beautiful the way that the um, lighting engine works as well. Because I'm not getting any lag whatsoever. I am at an even 50. Dear, 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 not an even 50. I'm at an even 60. Um, I could probably go higher, but, you know, I think when you can hit 60, why go any higher? Um, her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. You go out to the bar with your friends. It's not the same you get the feeling that every time, that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> I'm a child. Um, you slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. You visit her every day. You go with her to the home sometime, some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You always really liked Susan. Months go by. Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes you makes her forget you more. You think summer is coming up. And you see Anne in the paper for a job. You take it. <laughs> Loading. Ah, it's just a, oh. Ooh. It's just a, oh, four, two, two frames, eight frames, 24, 30. Come on. Oh, uh, I realized why it's now at 30, because I'm actually in the game now. Now I'm at 40. Okay, well, we're good. As long as it doesn't drop be below 40, or below 30 while we're playing. Oh, I'm up at 50 now. I absolutely love this. Love it, love it, love it. Because I love the cartoony background of it. You know, it's nothing that's over-ambitious. But it was done so well. Like, this comic booky kind of style mixed in with this 3D world. It it pulls you in. It's like it is like, you know, a wolf among us or um Tales of the Borderlands or the Walking Dead series in that sense, but it it has a different tone to it. A way different tone. Beautiful. And I love the wind. I love the wind. Hello, Come on look to Forks Tower. Woman, I forgot your name. To Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. I forgot how to reply. Um, hello? I have, to, I have to remember that. It's Henry, right? Yeah. Henry! Delilah! Delilah! 
What's wrong with you? Excuse me? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just... <laughs> so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Three ex-husband, rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Okay, that one. You're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. What? Is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. And that is where I'm going to end it for episode one. I love this game. Um, I think a lot of different people could enjoy this game. It's not that very demanding of a game when it comes to graphics. So I think a lot of people... I guess I'll finish. Probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Stalker! Um, I'm going to answer the radio call in my next episode of Firewatch. Um, and I will see y'all in episode two. <laughs>